okay so we'll be starting with collection framework what framework is uh, why we are going to learn framework we'll go with basics so before we talk about collection framework let's try to understand what uh, what is the behind story of collection framework so let's say i want to store multiple data i want to store data i have variable so what is variable it is a name given to a memory location address or a container so what is the use of variable using variable we can store single value right now variables we have different types primitive types and primitive and non primitive right so primitive it stores primitive stores it stores the primitive value that is of type of type byte short int long float double char good right example we already have seen lot of things int a equal to 20 so a is a primitive variable then we have non primitive variable it stores the it stores the reference or a address of an object example we have already seen student s equal to new student so yahan par aapka s is a is a reference variable is a reference variable right so we know these basics now if you want to store single value we can use variable if you want to store single value we can use variable but what about now if i want to store multiple values then we have to create that many number of variables so creating that many number of variables it is time consuming and it is very difficult to manage so if you want to store if you want to store multiple values then we have to create then we have to create that many number of variables that many number of variables so it is time consuming it is time consuming it is time consuming and difficult to difficult to access maintain right so what we want to do we want to store multiple values to store multiple values first option we have so if i want to store multiple values i can go with first thing what is that variable this is the first thing i have variable now later on we know that we have array also so what is the problem with array with array with array what we can do with array we can store multiple values which are of multiple values which are of same data type in a sequential memory locations so with array with an array we can store multiple values which are of same data type in sequential memory locations right so it is a better way as compared to variables it is a better way but the problem with the array is yes the drawbacks of array so drawbacks of array we know that 
it is fixed in nature it is fixed in nature it means there will be either there will be either shortage or wastage of memory once array is created once array is created then we can't increase or decrease the size of an array right now there is one more one more thing we have about the array we can only store homogeneous or same type data or same type data we can store only same type data or homogeneous type homogeneous they are fixed in nature what else yes so if you want to perform operations to perform operations on given array such as searching in the array or sorting replacing or delete update retrieve <coughs> so we have lot many things to perform operations on a given array such as searching sorting replacing deleting updating retrieving developer has to write the code who has to write the code developer has to write the code he is supposed to write the code in short we can say no method support no method support available so for every requirement who is supposed to write the code developer so these are some pain points these are some pain points now we'll, let's say once array is full you cannot do anything mm -hmm. we cannot do the anything that's it so when array is the best choice array is the best choice when we know when we know the number of elements number of elements in advance number of elements to be stored number of elements to be stored in advance matlab aapko advance mein hi pata hai ki aapko kitne sare elements store karna hai then it is best example aapko store karna hai koi distinct values ya koi count rakhna hai ya kuch let's say list of countries lag add karna hai to aap use kar sakte ho usse right ya pin codes aapko rakhna hai list of pin codes to aap use kar sakte ho list of pin code list of say districts bhi iske liye use kar sakte ho simple now to overcome the drawbacks of now to overcome the drawbacks of array collection framework is introduced collection framework is introduced collection framework is introduced now what do you mean by framework what is a framework it is a predefined set of code it is a predefined set of code it is a predefined it is a predefined set of code it is a predefined set of code written for given set of repeated code repeatedly occurring problems so it is a predefined set of code written for given set of repeatedly occurring problems now frameworks can be based in different programming language frameworks can be written in different programming language
now java based frameworks java based frameworks now there will be java based frameworks also java based frameworks are written in java programming language examples of java based frameworks so what are the frameworks of java based we have collection collection framework we have then we have hibernate framework we have spring framework then we have selenium library also there are lot many there are lot many things which are written in java so framework is nothing but predefined set of code now in java based framework what you will find in java based framework in java based framework we have predefined set of classes interfaces and methods what do we have we have predefined set of classes interfaces and methods simple okay now let's try to understand what is collection framework what is the need of collection framework collection so what do you think by this framework let's try to understand so it is a predefined set of classes interfaces and methods okay now they have written lot of predefined classes interfaces and methods all these classes all these classes are present in java dot util package they are present inside the java dot util package now what is the purpose of these classes it is are classes ki likhe diye unhone yes code duplication yes so we are going to standardize the methods we are going to standardize the methods so what is the code written inside that so there are methods so what code is written inside these classes methods what is the purpose of which are, which are sorting searching now let's say you want to store a group of elements as a single unit so array with the help of array we used to group multiple values similarly using collection we can store multiple values we can store multiple values as a single unit using collection we can store multiple values as a single unit now values which are now collection is nothing but a container collection provides different types of container what they provide different types of container objects containers are nothing but objects container objects which are used to store multiple values so col collection provides different types of container objects which will help you to store other values right now values can be same type now with the help of collection what are the advantages what are the advantages advantages of framework over array we can store homogeneous as well as heterogeneous data we can store homogeneous as well as heterogeneous data we can store any number of elements collections are growable collections are growable so growable means there won't be there won't be any shortage of there won't be any shortage of memory there won't be any shortage of memory 
there can happen wastage but a shortage will not have there won't be any shortage of memory then we can have flexibility number of elements same type different type then we can store so we have method support such as searching sorting uh, manipulating a group of elements group of elements so we have method support which was not there in there but now we have method support which will help you to uh, group multiple elements search the elements in the given container or manipulate the particular group of elements manipulate means search or addition or removal also that operations we can do okay now now using collection now what collection is collection we know it is a kind of a framework which will have predefined set of classes right now this predefined set of classes collection provided collection provided set of classes are called as data structures or they are called as data structures collection provided methods are called as algorithm what what they are called as now whatever the classes you have provided that that classes are called as data structures and methods are called as algorithm now algorithm what is algorithm it is nothing but set of steps to do some task it is nothing but a set of steps to do some task now search operation now searching is a kind of a task now for searching they have written lot of code now i want to sort a group of elements for that also they have done lot of task they have written lot of code so these methods are nothing but algorithms or steps to do perform task what task can be searching of elements sorting of elements or replacing a element or deleting a element these all operations are nothing but algorithms and data structures are represented with the help of classes so classes are nothing but data structures now i will tell you data structure what is data structure you can think of data structure is nothing but a way of organizing the data what is data structure in layman term i am i will explain you what is data structure so data structure it is a way of organizing data it is a way of organizing structuring it is a way of organizing structuring the data so you can think of data structures as a structure data structure is nothing but a nothing but a structure or a container or a container data structure you can you can think of as a container what you can think of as container now we have different types of uh, data structures or container so what are the di different types of stack list then we have queue then we have trees also there are multiple ways now stack means now i told you data structure is nothing but a container now you have multiple containers at your home now you want to store some books we have bookshelf so this is nothing but a stack of books then we have in the uh, let's say you want to book movie tickets you stand in the queue so what that queue is that queue is nothing but a container where people are standing so how people are standing first in first out so in the book bookshelf we are that is also a container but that that is nothing but a stack a stack of books so we try to get the element from top and try to add the element at the top only so that is another kind of a container now similarly in the tree so in the tree structure we have different elements con connected to each other then in the list so list is also another container so let's say you want to maintain a what do you want to maintain a playlist music playlist so how, how are you going to store that so it will have data 
and no to the next element so you have playlist like play previous next in the music player what you do play previous next so next is nothing but a location of the next song previous means location of the previous song so that is one of the implementation of list so in the playlist you will have this shuffle also that is nothing but a circular link list so it will do that now in the browser also in the browser also if you see here your history your history of your particular thing let's say i want to maintain the history now let's say i want to maintain the i want to check the history now how this history is stored this this is stored in last in first out if you see here so this is the last in first out so this data is stored so how this is how this data is stored this data is stored using a container now this data must be stored somewhere so this data is nothing but a stack of history so to store this data we have stack so internally browser maintains a stack simple so data structures are nothing but different types of container aap soch sakte ho different type of containers abhi ghar pe aap pani peene ke liye glass use karte ho ya bucket to use nahi karte bucket ka bhi use kiya hai to store some data glass ka bhi use kiya hai to store some data to lekin har ek ka apna apna way hai now let's say to uh, have your meal we have plates to usse to hum pani nahi peete na har ek ka apna apna use case hai so every structure every data structure has a different use case तो आप ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते हम कल से वो प्लेट से पानी पीएंगे ऐसे तो नहीं होगा सो डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आर नथिंग बट डिफरेंट कंटेनर्स वी आर डिफरेंट कंटेनर्स फॉर डिफरेंट यूज केस तो आप बोलोगे इतने सारे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स क्यों है स्टैक क्यों है लिस्ट क्यों है क्यों है तो दीज आर नथिंग बट डिफरेंट कंटेनर्स फॉर डिफरेंट यूज केस अगर आपको बस एक स्टैक ऑफ लिस्ट रखना है स्टैक ऑफ बुक्स रखना है तो उसके लिए स्टैक है अगर आपको लिस्ट रखना है जिसमें डुप्लीकेट्स भी हो सकता है तो उसके लिए आप लिस्ट यूज करो क्यू मतलब आपको एक पीपल यू वॉन्ट टू हैव दी स्टैंडिंग क्यू where you want to put the information or kuch bhi ho sakta hai so you have different data structures for different requirement to collection aapko kya provide karta hai collection provides you predefined set of classes are nothing but data structures and there are methods these methods are nothing but algorithms algorithm matlab aapne data store kiya how to add data aap mujhe batao aap let's say glass and bucket is it the same way to fill the uh, container dono ko same fill kar sakte hai water tank ko alag way fill karne ke liye fill karne ka so the way to add the content is different for glass it is different for that bucket it is different for that container so similarly adding a data to a list adding a data to a queue adding a data to a stack is different so that process is nothing but adding add is operation that is nothing but a algorithm or a steps so these methods are nothing but algorithms algorithm bahut kuch aise difficult kuch nahi hai just just a set, set of steps to complete task what task adding the data into the container or remove the data from the container right so collection you can think of collection you can think of a container this is a container now what all things we can do on a given container we can add a single element we can add multiple elements i want to add multiple elements i will say add all now elements are there already now i want to remove a element i want to remove element so i have remove method now i want to remove multiple elements so i have remove all now i want to remove everything which is there inside this container so we have clear method so clear will clear everything from this container now i want to search if a given element is present in the container or not so for that purpose i can say contains now i want to know how many elements are there inside this particular container so i have size now i want to check now i want to check or i want to sort the elements from this container we can do that i can search or i can contains i can check multiple elements are present now let's say there are 10000 elements and i want to check whether these five elements are present in the given container or not for that i have contains so to aisi bahut sari operations aap perform kar sakte ho right these are general purpose methods these are general purpose methods we have theek hai chalo aage badhte hain so jo bhi apne classes dekhi hai abhi tak collection ke liye aapne ek do classes to already dekhi hogi to collection framework provides predefined set of classes interfaces to kaun se classes hai kaun se interface hai we will just list down to maine last time aapko hierarchy diya tha iska right to yahan par pehla element hai aapka 
iterable. What is the first we have? Iterable. So iterable is a interface which is extended by collection is a interface collection is extended by list is a interface collection is extended by set it is also interface and collection is extended by q also so these are all interfaces now list interface is x is implemented by array list so array list is a class linked list so list is also implemented by linked list it is also class it is implemented by vector also it is also class and vector is extended by stack it is also class yes are classes of co interfaces only predefined then set is implemented by has set it is a class then has set is extended by linked has set it is also class then set is extended by sorted set it is a interface sorted set is extended by navigable set interface and navigable set is implemented by tree set it is a class q is implemented by priority it is a class q is also implemented by linked list also it is also class chalo dekhte hain ise सबसे पहले इटरेबल इट इज इंटरफेस विच इज एक्सटेंडेड बाय कलेक्शन एंड देन कलेक्शन इज एक्सटेंडेड बाय लिस्ट सेट एंड क्यू ठीक नाउ लिस्ट इज देन इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय एरे लिस्ट लिंक लिस्ट वेक्टर एंड स्टैक सो दीज आर फोर क्लासेस सेट इंटरफेस इज इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय हैस सेट लिंक हैस सेट देन सेट इज extended by sorted set is a interface navigable set it is interface and then finally we have tree set priority queue is implement is implementing queue linked list is also implementing queue to isme se dekho mujhe classes kon kon si classes hai 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ye same linked list hai by the way ye linked list same hi hai this link list is same so link list q ko bhi implement karta hai so there are eight concrete classes are there matlab inka aap object create kar sakte ho ये पहला हायर है कि आपका दीज आर दी क्लासेस इसमें से और हम कुछ क्लासेस देखने वाले हैं इसमें हम कलेक्शंस नाम का एक क्लास है कलेक्शंस है ये कलेक्शंस नाम का एक क्लास है रिजल्ट से वी आर गोइंग टू यूज उसके बाद हम यूज करने वाले हैं इसके साथ ही हमारे पास कंपेरेबल एक इंटरफेस है it is a interface comparator is also one interface that we are also going to use tick this is one hierarchy then we have another hierarchy but that is different hierarchy now we have map
तो मैप इज अ इंटरफेस मैप इज अ इंटरफेस विच इज इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय हैश मैप इट इज अ क्लास हैश मैप इज एक्सटेंडेड बाय लिंक्ड हैश मैप इट इज आल्सो क्लास देन मैप इज एक्सटेंडेड बाय sorted map it is a interface sorted map is extended by navigable map it is also interface and navigable map is implemented by tree map so tree map is a class इसमें से कौन सी क्लासेस वन टू एंड थ्री ये सारा हैरे की यू शुड रिमेम्बर बाई हार्ट ये यूज करना है आपको तो दिस हैरे की इज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू यूज क्लियर है यहां तक चलो आपका बेसिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी आस्क यू टू प्रिपेयर योर इनवेटेंस राइट now i will just check your understanding on this now i have a class i have a class a which is extended by class b and class b is extended by c so class a has a value x equal to 10 class b has y equal to 20 and c has a value z equal to 30 these are classes huh? these are classes so a class is extended by b class b class extended by सी क्लास और तीनों क्लासेस में आपको एक एक फील्ड है एक्स वाई जेड ओके तो मैं ऑब्जेक्ट बना रहा हूं ए क्लास का ए इक्वल टू न्यू ए तो ए डॉट एक्स ए डॉट वाई ए डॉट जेड इसमें से कौन सी वैल्यू एक्सेस कर सकता हूं मैं ओनली ए डॉट एक्स दिस वन दिस वन नो चलो क्लियर अभी मैं ऑब्जेक्ट बना रहा हूं बी क्लास का रेफरेंस इक्वल टू न्यू बी तो आप इसमें से कौन सी वैल्यू एक्सेस कर सकते हो रेफरेंस डॉट एक्स रेफरेंस डॉट वाई रेफरेंस डॉट जेड इसमें से कौन सी वैल्यू एक्सेस कर सकते हो ओनली एक्स एंड वाई जेड ठीक है ये क्लियर है चलो मैं दूसरा भी ऑब्जेक्ट बनाता हूँ सी क्लास का सी सी इक्वल टू न्यू सी और मैं ट्राई करता हूँ सी डॉट एक्स सी डॉट वाई सी डॉट जेड सारे एक्सेस कर सकता हूँ यस आई कैन एक्सेस ऑल ऑफ दिस ठीक क्लियर है चलो सिंपल अभी चेंज कर रहा हूँ मैं ये सी क्लास का ऑब्जेक्ट है और रेफरेंस इज दिया पेरेंट का तो पेरेंट में सब में एक्स वाई जेड है तो कौन सा वाली आउटपुट आएगा ये एक्सेस कर सकते हो एक्स ये वाला ये वाला नहीं कर सकते ये वाला भी नहीं कर सकते राइट अगर यहां पर बी का रेफरेंस है बी रेफरेंस इक्वल टू न्यू सी एक्स एंड वाई कर सकते हो ठीक अगर यहाँ पर सी का रेफरेंस है तो आपको तीनों एक्सेस कर सकते हो आप तीनों एक्सेस कर सकते हो राइट अगर ये ये है तो ये भी नहीं कर सकते ये भी नहीं कर सकते अगर ये बी है तो आप एक्स एल वाई कर सकते हो क्लियर है चलो यहाँ पर मैं यूज़ कर रहा हूँ बी का ऑब्जेक्ट और यहाँ पर यूज़ कर रहा हूँ मैं सी कंपाइल टाइम मैटर्स क्योंकि चाइल्ड क्लास रेफरेंस पेरेंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट वी कैनॉट डू दैट तो आप यहाँ पर बी बी कौन सा एक्सेस कर सकते हो एक्स एंड वाई और अगर ये ए है तो ओनली एक्स ओनली एक्स सिंपल ये बेसिक मुझे चाहिए 
if you are able to understand this then only you will understand these things अगर मैं ऑब्जेक्ट बनाता हूँ स्टैक का और मुझे उसे स्टोर करना है कलेक्शन का रेफरेंस यूज करके स्टैक का लेट्स से वेक्टर का ऑब्जेक्ट बनाया मैंने वेक्टर क्लास का और मुझे उसे स्टोर करना है कलेक्शन में कर सकता हूँ स्टैक का ऑब्जेक्ट वेक्टर का ऑब्जेक्ट है और उसे स्टोर करना है मुझे लिस्ट इंटरफेस का रेफरेंस कर सकते हो वेक्टर क्लास का ऑब्जेक्ट बनाया मैंने उसे स्टोर करना मुझे लिस्ट रेफरेंस का यूज करके कर सकते हैं कर सकते हैं राइट लेकिन लिमिटेशन क्या है जो भी लिस्ट के अंदर है वही एक्सेस कर सकते हैं राइट अभी लेट से मैंने कलेक्शन का यूज करके किया तो कलेक्शन में जो मेथड से वही हम एक्सेस कर सकते हैं उस रेफरेंस का यूज करके राइट right? चलो दिस बेसिक आई वॉन्टेड ओके तो इस इंटरफेस में आपने देखा होगा यहाँ पर सबसे पहले इस पर्टिकुलर हायर की में व्हाट इज कलेक्शन इट इज ए इंटरफेस प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क एंड इनसाइड द जावा डॉट यूटिल पैकेज Right, it is present inside the util package, and it is part of collection framework. So it is a interface. By the way, this is a interface. Now, what methods are there inside this? So it provides several methods, which will help us perform. manipulation manipulation on a group of elements matlab collection matlab aap samjho ek container hai kya hai collection is nothing but a container and what all things we can perform or what all things we can do on a given container methods of collection ek interface hai which extends iterable collection is a interface which extends iterable and it has several methods these are the methods you see these are the methods there are a couple of java it features are also there now th these are all abstract methods all these are abstract methods so size method what it must be doing yes so what all these things must be doing so size method will give the size how many elements are in the given container then is empty method will say whether the container is empty or not contains contains method will return true or false what are the element you are giving whether that element is present in the given container or not if it is present return true otherwise false then this iterator iterator is a way to read the elements from the given container to array to array means whatever the collection i have this container i want to convert that into a array that also we can do so that can you do with the help of to array so to array method is there also type casted or uh, this is another method of to array then add you want to add elements into the add a single element into the container we have add method i want to remove a single element from the given container we have remove method i want to check contains all let's say i have 10000 elements in the container and i want to check whether these five selected elements are present in the given 
collection or container one for that purpose we use contain solve add all i want to add multiple bunch of elements in one shot then we can use add all remove all remove all means i want to let's say i want to remove multiple let's say five ten elements so what are the elements you want to remove just provide their ids or their value then we have remove if now this is java feature remove if now you want to remove the limits based on a criteria or a condition then you go with the remove if retain all retain all as a method hai abhi let's say aapke paas ek container hai uske andar aapko sab kuch remove karna hai बस एक्सेप्ट आपके जो पाँच दस एलिमेंट्स है वो छोड़ के आपको बाकी डिलीट तो आप चाहते हो कि ये एलिमेंट छोड़ के बाकी सारे डिलीट कर दो दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो डू दैट क्लियर क्लियर मींस डिलीट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम द गिवन कंटेनर राइट इक्वल्स मेथड एंड हैश कोड मेथड दीज आर ऑल्सो एडिट दीज आर ऑल्सो एटेड देन दीज आर सम जवाइड मेथड्स अवेलेबल दीज मेथड्स so we'll look into stream these are related to stream so you want to read the data from the given collection then we can use this particular stream itself so right just have a look on the methods so these methods are present in every other class now you tell me we have seen this complete hierarchy we have seen this complete hierarchy mm -hmm. now methods of collection whether are present in array list linked list vector stack yes all these are methods collection methods are present inside this why so whenever one class implements an interface or extends an abstract class then it is compulsory for that concrete class to override all the methods so array list link list vector stack must be having all the methods from list and interface also and from collection also as well as from the iterable also to aap mujhe batao array list mein kon kon se methods rahenge list ke bhi rahenge collection ki bhi rahenge aur iterable ki bhi rahenge similarly has set it is a class what all things it will have it will have the methods from set interface collection and iterable also similarly tree set it will have methods from navigable set sorted set set collection and iterable sabse bichara yahi lag raha hai mujhe so it will have it it has lot of stuff it has lot of responsibility to perform so what are the responsibility specified what all the abstract methods are in the iterable collection set sorted set navigable set are implemented inside the tree set right then priority queue also similar thing theek hai chalo so all these methods now can you create object of this collection can you create object of this collection no then how do you use this interface to subclass by now you must be knowing that we use this through subclass so we have multiple subclasses so collection then we have set list and queue list set queue yeah list one on another something list set queue three sub interfaces then list we have again four classes set again we have four three four classes one priority queue again we have two three classes so why these many classes are provided why they why they don't have only one class and do all the stuff apne dekho ga yahan par you have collection and collection has three sub interfaces list set 
and Q. So why have these three sub interfaces? A key interface is the sub push is me kar lete. So why we have these three different types of sub interfaces again? Sub interfaces again there sub implementations. Itte sare interfaces kyu diye honge? What do you think? Correct. Abhi list set kyu? Now I told you collection is nothing but a container. Now I cannot do all the things in one container only. So sometime I need a container. I need a container which can allow me duplicate values. I need a container which will allow me duplicate. Sometime my requirement is I want a container which will have only unique values. Sometime my requirement is I want some kind of order, sequential order then I want some processing order. So all of these are containers, list, set, queue, all of these are containers, yes. So we have these three different types of containers. So what is the requirement? Now when you go with the list, when you go with the set, when you go with the queue. So you will go with the list, when you will go with the list, when your requirement is you want to store duplicate elements. When you will go with the set implementing classes, when you have clear cut, requirement of storing the elements in unique fashion then you go with the set when you want to maintain some kind of processing order queue we will have a set of elements which are standing so then you go with the queue so we have three distinct requirements when i want to store duplicate elements i will go with list when i want to store unique elements i will go with the set and when i want to maintain some kind of processing order then i will go with the queue so based on a requirement how what kind of elements you want to store then you have three different requirements. Agar aap chahate ho ki mujhe unique, unique elements store karna hai, then go with the set implementing classes. So there we have has set, linked has set and tree set. You want to maintain duplicate elements. Then we have array list, link list, vector and stack. So duplicate elements store karne ke liye aapke paas four options hai. Unique elements store karne ke liye aapke paas three options hai. Yaha par priority queue hai and then we have link list so again we have multiple options now which one to use at high level first of all thing if you want to store what is your requirement if you want to store duplicate elements then you go with the uh, list implementing classes when your requirement is you want to store unique elements then you go with the set implementing classes when your requirement is is to store elements in a processed order then you go with the queue right so we have distinct requirements if you want to store duplicate elements you want to store unique elements or you want to store processing order elements. So then you choose one of this. Is me se koi ek aap choose karte ho. Right? Clear hai? Tino requirements kaap koon sa use karna hai? Chalo. Let me write that also. So list is an interface. When we want to store the elements which are duplicate, then we can use list. Now elements will be stored in order also. Duplicate elements will be there, but there will be a list of order. Let's say you want to have a shopping list. So there is an order, first do this, first do this. Then in this case we maintain, we see there, If you want to maintain the insertion order, insertion order of elements, मतलब आपको उनका order maintain करके रखना है, then you go with the list. So what are the list implementing classes we have? List implementing classes, list implementations or list implementing classes. What are the classes we have? We have array list, link list, vector, and stack. Simple. Now we have another requirement. So we have set. When we want to store the elements which are unique. Then we can use 
set. If you don't want to maintain or we will not worry about this, we have no ODP case. Now set implementing classes, set implementations or set implementing classes. What are the classes we have? Asset, linked asset and then we have tree set. Then we have queue. So when we want to store the elements which are duplicate, duplicate we are accepted of duplicate. When we want to store the elements in an in a processing order, in a processing order, then we can go with use queue. So what are the queue implementations or queue implementing classes? So we have priority queue and we have linked list. So these are the three different requirements we have. Simple. Chalo. We will try to use, now what is my requirement? Now using collection, what we can do? What is the thing we can do using collection? We can store heterogeneous data. We can store any number of elements. We can uh, add elements or we can do the manipulation on that, right? So we'll try to perform that things. Now yesterday we have tried to implement a custom array list. So there we created a class called as array list custom. There we created a two things, value and the size and capacity, right? So by default capacity we have initialized that to five and then we have created a size equal to zero initial. Now when you try to add element, we added the element first we check if the capacity is greater than size, then we added the element. Else, we created a new array. We are created new array with the new capacity. Then copied the content of old array into new array. And then added the element at the end. And then increment the size. Then we have just got the element get. Now I want to remove the element. What method we can do? I hope you have gone through. So remove karna matlab array may say element remove karna. Is me is particular thing me. So how do I remove the element? You want to remove the method. So you want to specify the index actually. Right? So what we do? We can write the logic here to remove the element. So instead of rewriting this logic, this logic is already present for us. Where is that? inside the classes we have a lot many classes right so we'll see the list implementations so we'll be starting with list implementations i wanted to create a class So first thing we'll be seeing as list implementations and then we'll talk about set implementations then we have queue implementations simple and this is the basics of array Okay, let me create the class that is demo one and we have first implementation classes array list. So what we are trying to do today, I'm just trying to create array list is the class. What is the class? Now oh, let me tell you the hierarchy array list 
Now this array list is present inside the Java dot util package. This array list is present inside the Java dot util package. Now this array list implements list list extends collection and collection extends iterable. And iterable is a interface. Iterable is also interface which has couple of methods. Collection has couple of methods. List has couple of methods. And all these methods are present inside the array list. Tick. Now we'll create the object of this class array list equal to new. So I can do this simply list <coughs> new array list. Now instead of writing this array list, can I write list? Can I write list? Parent class reference, child class object. Can we do this? Yes. So I will try to add the elements. Now I will add elements. 30, 40, 50. Now can I add null? Yes. Can I add heterogeneous data? Yes. Can I add boolean also? Yes. You can add any type of data. So are we able to add? Now are we worrying about the size? Are we worrying about the size? Boolean true. So what all things we are able to do? First, we can add homogeneous as well as heterogeneous data. Second, we growable in nature. We can add any number of elements, any number of elements that is growable in nature. Right? Now, are we able to add duplicates? Yes. We can add duplicate elements. Can we add insertion order? We can maintain. We can maintain insertion order of elements. We are able to maintain the insertion order also. Now, I will just print this. I will just print the list. I have added the elements one by one, one by one. I have added elements and now I want to print that. So whenever you try to print a reference, what happens? There is a one method. What is that method will be called? Two string method will be called? Yes. We are able to add the elements, yes, if you see 10, 30, 40, 50, null, string data and true. So we are able to add multiple type of data, yes, different type of data, yes. Are we worrying about the size? No. Right. Now I will write the same logic for the linked list also. Now in the linked list also same set of methods are available. In the linked list also same set of methods are available. I have just changed what? Parent class reference saying only child class object because methods of list are also available in the array list, linked list, stack, vector, everywhere. So I can use that. So here also with linked list also we can add a homogeneous, heterogeneous, we can add any number of, we can add any number of elements, any number of elements that is growable, we can add duplicates, we can maintain the insertion order of elements. Insertion order means order of elements is maintained. See here, this is also possible with the linked list also. I can do the same thing with the help of vector also. The behind the scene there are a lot of differences we'll understand but for now all the things we can do so we are able to add elements homogeneous heterogeneous any number of duplicates and we can maintain the insertion order also duplicates also we can add yes we can add the duplicates also 10 10 now this time it will add 10 10 you can add multiple null also you can add multiple null elements also
now vector class if you see here it is also implementing it is also implementing your list list again extends collection collection extends iterable so we are able to add duplicates also now do you think whether the code is same in every other class now we have three classes we have three classes three four classes now whether the code is same in every other class no method name is only same but the content which is inside that it is going to change they will not have a single class which with the same content right so we have even though we have three four classes same set of methods but the content is different in each of the class now stack let me try with the stack stack also you will be able to do that will you be able to add the elements yes now don't think that we have add method everywhere is same name of the method is same but the content or the implementation code is going to be different in all of the four classes don't think that ki sab sab mein same hi code hai method ka naam same hai aapko lag raha hai ki it is same but the code written inside that it is different so we have used parent class reference and child class object same here same here same here so we are able to add now three things we have to remember we are able to add heterogeneous homogeneous data we are able to maintain the duplicates we are able to maintain any number of elements we can store any number of elements there is no requirement there is no requirement to specify the size right now why there are four classes why there are four classes why don't we have only one class which will help us to add duplicates only so array list able to do everything array list is able to do the everything yes linked list also yes but there are a different again a fine grain requirements we have again we have different requirements even though you want to maintain duplicates and you want to maintain heterogeneous data you want to maintain duplicate heterogeneous as well as homogeneous or you want to maintain insertion order plus we have again some requirements we again we have again some more requirements which are specific to that particular class only which are particular to that particular class only what are the requirements we'll be seeing that now <coughs> i will just have a look on the list implementation classes so we'll talk about the list implementations only list implementing classes so what are the list implementation classes we have array list linked list vector the property can we add homogeneous data are homogeneous <laughs> homogeneous yes yes here also yes yes we can have duplicate books also heterogeneous everywhere yes 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 duplicates yes you can add s yes. then what else null null we can add yes so this is common everywhere right insertion order 
yes yes then what is the difference sab yes yes hi hai to what is the difference four classes they have created i told you every class is nothing but a data structure every class is nothing but a data structure or a container right so array list is also kind of a representative data structure linked list is also kind of a data structure vector is also data structure stack is also kind of a data structure so they are all different data structures so what is the data structure they are using what is the data structure they internally use it uses growable array data structure they use doubly linked list data structure this also this uses stack data structure so internally they use different different data structures so different different containers growable array data structure doubly linked list growable array data structure st stack data structure now you will see array list and vector are exactly same array list and vector are exactly same right what is the difference then method simplification methods are synchronized or not so methods are not synchronized methods are synchronized so array list and vector are exactly same Ex only difference is method synchronization yes and no right so we'll tomorrow we'll see what is the difference between each one of these classes kaun sa class kab use karna hai kab array list use karna hai when array list use karna best hai kab it is worst when linked list is best when linked list is worst when vector is best when vector is worst we'll try to understand all of this tomorrow theek to tomorrow we'll cover this list implementations kya kya cover karenge hum kal ek single element add karna multiple elements add karna ek class samajh lo baki sare classes is liye ek class samajh loge to baki classes is liye सिंगल एलिमेंट ऐड करना मल्टीपल एलिमेंट्स ऐड करना रिमूव करना एलिमेंट्स सर्च करना रीड करना एलिमेंट्स वन बाय वन फॉर लुक का यूज करके देर आर मल्टीपल वेज देर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू डू दैट ठीक सो दिस थिंग वी विल सी टुमारो एंड फॉर टुडे वी विल स्टॉप